Malaysia is a contemporary Muslim country with ethnicities drawn from some of the world's oldest civilizations. The majority of nations practice Islam as their dominant religion. However, a minority part of the population can still peacefully practice different religions. It is perfectly understandable when issues relating to halal food are claimed to be one of the main concerns among the people in Malaysia. Globally, the halal market is thriving, expanding at a pace of 20% a year on average. In fact, the global food market presently accounts for around 90% of the halal food sector. This emerging way of life, which includes everything from food to healthcare and everything in between, is not simply available to Muslim, as the market for non-Muslim customers has been expanding. Now, what is halal? Halal, which is Arabic for allowed or permitted, was drawn from Islamic teachings. Contrarily, foods that are not halal are regarded as haram or not permitted. In order for a food to be halal, it must not include blood or alcohol, must be slaughtered in the correct manner in the name of Allah, must not be any forbidden animal including pigs, carnivorous animals, birds of prey, and it must be processed, made, produced, manufactured, or stored with equipment that been thoroughly cleaned in accordance with Islamic law. When we talk about halal industry, the most important part is during the manufacturing itself. And for meat, they need to go through several processes to make it halal and can be eaten by everyone, especially Muslims. So, what exactly makes the meat halal? Does it just the slaughter or it start before that? One of the most crucial thing to make it halal is the choices of the animals. In the food industry, commonly, most of animals that being slaughtered are poultry and cattle. According to BBC.com, the Islamic form of slaughtering animals involves killing through a cut to the jugular vein, keratin artery, and windpipe. Animals must be alive and healthy at the time of the slaughter and all blood is drained from the carcass. The knives also should be sharp in order to avoid the animals from being tortured. During the process, a Muslim will recite Bismillah. It is because in the Quran, Allah Subhanahu Taala said, وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا مِمَّا لَمْ يُذْكَرِ اسْمُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنَّهُ لَفِرْقُ وَإِنَّ الشَّيَاتِينَ لَيُوْخُونَ إِلَىٰ أَوْلِيَائِهِمْ لِيُجَادِلُوكُمْ وَإِنْ عَطَعْتُمُوهُمْ إِنَّكُمْ لَمُشْرِكُونَ do not eat of the animal over which the name of Allah has not been pronounced at the time of its slaughtering, for that is a transgression, and behold, the evil ones do inspire doubts and objections into the hearts of their friends so that they dispute with you. But if you obey them, you will surely yourself into those who associate others with Allah in his divinity. Surah Al-An'am verse 121 Business looking to sell halal products in Malaysia must first receive a halal certificate from the government. A halal certificate lets consumers know that the product meets Malaysia's standard for a halal product. A halal certification is relevant to a variety of products that use animal products, including food products, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. The Malaysian Islamic Development Department, JAKIM, has approved 84 halal logos from 46 countries, including from Japan, South Korea, Pakistan, New Zealand, Italy, Portugal, and others. In industry halal food, we need to focus on safety and cleanliness. Food safety means that the food is free of harmful germs, poisons and toxins as well as free of faces and other waste materials. Why must our food be clean? Unclean food can contain harmful substances or bacteria that can cause foodborne diseases such as cholera, 
type 5 food poisoning, yellow disease and others. What are the basic things that need to be prioritized to ensure clean food? Our food must be cleanliness of raw materials, clean food handling, personal hygiene of food handlers, adequate basic health needs, food premises that have a clean environment, design food premises and appropriate equipment, and the last, proper preparation and storage of food.